we did amazingly well. We uh, we were hit by the uh, global pandemic in um, the hardest in April already. So we had the biggest sales decline in April when uh, a lot of our markets, so especially the construction sites, uh, went into lockdown. And um, we had a recovery which was almost at the same speed. So uh, already in June, we achieved uh, above last year sales levels. And uh, also for the months to come, it looks very solid in our order books. And when you see our markets globally, construction sites are operating basically everywhere. So uh, we are quite confident for the second half of the year. So as I, as I look at the performance you've reported, uh, net sales uh, did fall by 18% compared to the prior period. As you think now about the outlook for the rest of the year, given what you've said about the reopenings of, of sites and production facilities, um, what do you think we might see in terms of profitability for the business? Will, will we get a flat number or indeed still a, a small decline? All right. Well, we, we didn't. We did. I think we can still in that volatile environment not provide uh, any precise guidance, but uh, what we can say is that our action plan, um, health, cost, and cash is uh, showing very strong results. We had already in May and June, our cost development was under proportional to the sales volume. So we have a very big cost saving already hitting the bottom line. And uh, the same for the cash. We have a, a very strong focus now on cash in this crisis. and. Um, we finished the first half of the year with a new record in cash flow, uh, almost triple uh, the result of 2019. Now, uh, what does that do for us going forward? I think we have a very solid second half of the year. I think we will uh, bring the cost saving uh, uh, towards the end of the year. And I expect um, very solid numbers, especially on bottom line and on cash flow. Yeah, I think it's interesting. I mean, I, I understand why you're reticent about providing the outlook at this point, but it does seem as though when you look at what you've reported here and what you're saying, that you do feel that we've come through the worst of the crisis and ultimately markets that have already started opening up like China are actually just going to show constant improvement. Is, is that a fair reflection of how you're seeing things? Yes, I think that's a fair reflection. Um, we also have to consider while we still have increasing uh, number of COVID-19 cases globally. So, I mean, the pandemic is far from being over. Uh, we see that now uh, the business and uh, the governments are handling the situation, I would say, extremely well. So you can see that on construction sites where our products are being used and uh, they are basically all back in operation. Uh, the companies, the employees, the customers, they are all now, uh, I would say, fully trained with the, with, the new, uh, with the new way of behave in this situation. And that's even when we see uh, wa new waves coming up, when we see hotspots uh, popping up, uh, um, I think the reaction is extremely uh, competent and we don't expect uh, a large closing of construction sites uh, what we saw in April, for example, we believe that uh, business will run uh, quite solidly now going forward.